In this video, we're going to be flashing the Galaxy Nexus back to stock. At this current time, it has Sanjima 10.1, but I'm going to be flashing it back to 100% stocked and relocking the bootloader. So basically, you can take it to a Sprint store and they will never be able to tell that you modified it. This also goes with the GSM version and the Verizon version of the Galaxy Nexus. It does not matter which version you have, the toolkit will support them all. You will just, of course, choose the one meant for your device. So let's head over to the computer and let's fire up MSkip's toolkit. All right, so in the description of the video you're currently watching, there'll be a link to this thread right here. And down in the guy's uh, signature, down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, right here, It'll say Galaxy Nexus Toolkit, GSM, like here's the Verizon version, you'll just click on it, and it says Verizon Galaxy Nexus, and then here's the GSM Galaxy Nexus, and it takes you to the GSM. So, there you go. If you have the Verizon version, you can, you know, you know which thread to go to. If you have the international version, you'll, you'll know what thread to go to, so very, very beneficial. But from the top here, all you're going to simply do is scroll down until you see Click here to download the Galaxy Nexus Toolkit. You will download it, and then it will install it. And you'll just keep pressing next, 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 and then open it. And then it's going to download this file called Galaxy Nexus Toolkit. Basically, you'll just open it up. And I have the donate version. So that's another reason I didn't re-download it, because I didn't want it to like mess anything up. And it's going to check and see if there is an update available. It looks like I have an older version of what's currently available. So I'll go ahead and type yes and let this finish. Okay, so the toolkit finished. I'm going to go ahead and type one more time just to see if there is any updates. And it's just because sometimes like update, yeah, see like right there, it'll, <laughs> yeah. So we'll just download this one too. All right, and like I did before, I'll just type yes again to make sure, because for some reason, like it updates incremental like each time. At least it does for me anyway. Okay, now it says I have the latest version available, so we'll proceed and continue. All right, so I know that I have Android 4.2.2, which is signed on 10.1 on my device currently, and since I have the Sprint version, I'll just choose right here the Toro Plus, Verizon being the Toro, and the GSM being the Maguro or Maguro. Yeah, so here we go. We'll do version 44. And then we'll do install drivers. I've already done that. All you'll do is press 1. Yes, yes, yes. You might have to reboot, etc. So back up, restore your device, unlock, flash, dock. All right, so keep in mind that these numbers may change. All because I press one number doesn't mean you'll necessarily need to press that number. I'm going to press 9 because that's the download extract flash dock ROM and then press number one and then it's going to make me choose which one to download i will choose version 43 again be very careful which version you're choosing i have the sprint variant the toro plus and i want it to download ga02 and then it's going to download the image and yeah so I'll fast forward to this All right, looks like this is going to take a while, so we'll go ahead and pause here. So that took a very, very long time, as you'll be able to see in the clock on my screen. So, and I moved this over too, so I could put the phone on the left. That way you would see, like, any drivers installing and etc. So this is finally wrapping up, and this is right before we flash it stock. This is the file we have to have in order to flash it back to stock. All right, now here's the uh, fun part. Your image is now ready for flashing in fast boot mode. Do you want to flash the image? Yes. You need to unlock your bootloader before starting this process. Before starting, download it. Do not rename, put. Make sure. So let's check that folder real quick. Put Google factory image here. Yes, it is in there. Type yes to start the procedure. Type no to reboot to fastboot. 
We are not in fast boot. We are in stock Android, so we're going to type no. If you do not have USB debugging enabled, then it's not going to do it. You need to go to the about phone, menu settings about phone. You can either keep tapping on developer options or um, up on, on your system build or whatever, and then it'll say like five steps away. And I'm in dumb butt, and once again forgot to plug my phone in. All right, so I just plugged it in, and now it should reboot us into fast boot mode, which is where it'll actually flash the thing stuck. I'm looking at the phone, and it's not doing it. Let me check and make sure it's in fast boot or that USB debugging is enabled. Ah, so that was the issue. We need to go to the build number and keep tapping it. Three, two, one. Now you'll see developer options here. And we need to make sure that USB de or Android debugging is enabled. Press OK. And now the phone should reboot after we allow this. Haha, ha, that was the uh, missing key right there. So that's what I did wrong. I didn't have the freaking phone and the <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's how you enable Android debugging. You go to about phone, you go to the build and you just keep tapping on it until you see you're now a developer. And then you get the option to go back to developer options, make sure that's on and make sure that Android debugging is checked. Then you should be good to go. Yes, we want to format user data. We do not want them to know that any files that are root or like to continue backup or anything is on there. So yes, you definitely want to press yes. Now that is going to erase it and fl wipe it completely. So yeah. This process right here, I, I haven't done this in so long. I don't remember how long this takes. You'll be able to look at the clock. It says it's currently 2.49. My daughter gets home from school very soon. I hope I can finish this in time. It keeps saying device not recognized, but I wouldn't worry about it. All right, looks like we're almost ready to wrap this up. All right, looks like we're done here. If the device gets stuck on the X when doing the following, hold volume down. If you're flashing a factory for warranty purposes, reboot to fast boot mode and relock your bootloader. Press any key to return to the main menu. Okay, so we're actually going to relock the bootloader for warranty purposes. All right, the first boot does take a minute, so you'll just have to understand that. And we're gonna go here to English and then skip, and then skip anyway, and then no, and then not now, and then next, and then next, and then finish. Okay, and then we're gonna go to settings, about phone, and then we're gonna go down here to the build number, keep tapping on it, and you, as you can see, we're we're in stock. I mean, absolutely stock Android. So, developer options, USB debugging, okay. And now we can head over to the computer again. And now at the computer, we can go to number three, and then we can go to relock bootloader number two. And then if you get a waiting for a thing, make your choice. Type no to do the procedure. Type or type yes to do the procedure. Type no to go to fast boot. So no. And it's going to reboot into fast boot and it's going to lock the bootloader. Awesome, our bootloader is locked. We can now take it to Sprint and they don't know that we ever modified it, touched it or anything. 
If this video helped you out, please do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do mini videos on the Galaxy S4, HTC One, I've got other Galaxy Nexus videos you can check out, and also I was able to update to the very latest toolkit because I have the donate feature right here, the professional version. If you have not donated, then you're using the free version and you will get left behind, meaning when future updates come out, you will be waiting to root your device until he decides to release the toolkit to the public, like the updated version to the public. People that donate get it first. So when the next version of Android comes out for the Galaxy Nexus, if you have not donated, you will have to wait while everybody else that has donated is able to enjoy an updated build that supports the new version of Android that's coming out soon and they can root their device, etc. So please donate to MSKIP if you want to have the latest toolkit at all times. All I ask you to do is give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and have a nice day. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out. To get out of this screen and to go back, you'll just press down, 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 or you could just go to start if you want, or you can power off, it's up to you. As you can see,